Hello, welcome to another Gundam Battle version 2 video. That is the Ramzagok, and I got a match here for you on Arctic Base, and we're playing with uh, Red Wolf Vion again. And uh, he, I actually just joined up with uh, with Vion, and he's also playing with Taru because sometimes he likes to play with his uh, his fans. You know, he, he does it over Discord and all that good stuff. Uh, so I decided to join up because I had nothing else to do for the day. And uh, yeah, I've been really meaning to get a video of the Ramzagok. I really just haven't been. I haven't had a chance to get it. I've been either playing, you know, a support or just trying to pick a general for the team. Usually somebody already hard locks a raid for 350. And I I do have a testing video for this suit, but I just never got a chance to, like, play, play it. I, I played, like, one or two matches to try it out. And, uh, yeah, now that I have played a match or two with it, uh, yeah. It's a, it's a pretty damn good... Uh, raid in terms of just getting that damage off and you know doing combos it has some pretty useful things like it does have a instant stun actually compared to uh, to uh, like the regular Zagok right which is not, not really a fair comparison to the Zagok, Zagok uh, the regular Zagok is really low cost right but uh, yeah that's an instant stun straight into a three melee combo and you do have a ram attack which increases your tackle damage by 250% so basically, your tackle is going to be equal to another neutral swing, pretty much. And yeah, you can notice uh, when I when I start fight, fighting some of the generals and doing downswing ram combos, uh, yeah, it does a lot of damage still to generals. If it, if it was a support, I'd be doing even more, but you know what I mean. Like a, a casual 2,400 uh, uh, for each shot against them, right? <laughs> like if I, if I want to string the combos into it, right? So uh, yeah, and you do have follow-up uh, beam... I want to say beam pistols because you know you just fire them you fire them from your, both of your hands and they fire them off one by one feels like beam pistols right however you have to stay you have to stand still to use them and I kind of wish they uh, they didn't make that a thing because this would have made it a really devastating suit if it could like you know stun somebody and which chasing them in case it's not close enough to do a melee combo it can just fire its uh, its uh, beam guns while it gets close right but uh, they didn't do it that way unfortunately but uh, I still think overall it's a pretty nice raid to play. Um, obviously there's probably some raids nowadays, because this is a pretty, I say, it's like, it's like an older clan suit, right? This is originally a clan suit, and, uh, there's definitely some pretty good raids nowadays, uh, depending on if you can avoid damage or not, like the Almas Zaku 2 high mobility type, I think it's high mobility type. There's probably some other ones as well that I can't think of, because, again, 350 is not really my focus in, uh, for, for games at the moment. But, uh, yeah, having played this, this is my first time playing this in a while, so we'll see how we can do. And this is, like I said, this is an Arctic base match. We are playing with Vion. Uh, Taru had to go and probably go fucking do something in Maryland, right? But <laughs> wherever that place is, uh, that mystical land called Maryland. Uh, I know where Maryland is, by the way. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, we're getting tried. We're trying to get close to the support, and we end up nearly killing him every time. And you'll notice that I'm trying to, it seems like I'm trying to set up. Uh, uh, a front line, I guess a front line, more like a distraction, kind of like have, uh, I'll arrive, distract maybe two, or as you saw there, three enemies, and then my team will roll up and uh, finish off any low health uh, enemies. And I believe they actually do finish off, uh, or try to finish off what, the Zaku, I think it was a ground type, high mobility ground type, and there is a high gog there. Um, definitely, I believe the high gog and the, I think it might be the ground type, they're both on the same team, so it'll be good. I think there'll be they're they're communicating they're doing it pretty well uh to try and help their uh, support <laughs> yeah definitely with the gog here also i made a really big mistake trying to trying to come in here uh i should have backed up towards our base but unfortunately i try to go help our teammate who's getting uh looks like he was getting swarmed and yeah i kind of try to get past these gog unfortunately they stunned me just enough with uh with stun accumulation stunned me just enough they hit me enough with stun accumulation and yeah they got me to stun lock and uh this thing doesn't have a dodge roll like the regular zagok so uh not very, uh, not very good play there, spawning in like that and dying immediately. So we'll try to do better next time. It is a pretty close match right now, 3,500 to 4,700, with almost four minutes left in the match. And, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can try and just get to either a support or try to finish off in double team a general. And, uh, hey, we got somebody in front of us. Let's go ahead and get a good stun on him. And, uh, whiff the melee, but it's fine because I probably would have, uh, <laughs> downswing and then got myself downswung by the enemy Ramzagok, so good thing I missed. And hey, Merc fell right in front of me, okay. <laughs> One of the best things about this suit over the regular Zagok, by the way, is that uh, your downswing is not a thrust. You actually stab straight into the ground, which is infinitely better than the thrusting downswing on, uh, on the regular Zagok and the Zagaki. Way better. Just because you can actually hit the ground, you know, depending on the suit you're fighting. But hey, we did help get an assist on the, uh, the Zaku ground type. 
and there is uh actually no we finished off everybody i think the support may have uh may have run back to base we'll go ahead and repair what little health we have a uh, little health what what health we did lose there we go what little health we lose we still have 11k right and yeah i also forgot the ramsagok also has power accelerator which i didn't remember it having but uh, yeah basically if you're in a clash i believe you can boost uh uh as soon as you guys go back from uh from the clash like you know you do the clash and you guys bounce back i believe you can boost after that uh after that bounce back right somehow we avoided that uh that, that blast uh that blast radius stun there so uh, I'm, I'm fine with that and hey this guy jumped down we'll go ahead and catch him with our side swing it looks like it's a pretty far hitting down swing go straight into the ram combos like i said you can just do that straight into your melee no boost gauge left because i tackled but uh it's fine because uh I'm in a little bit of a safer position here because now that the uh, the support came in and I have my uh, my boost gauge ready, another tackle. And we're going to go ahead and finish off the support. Don't know why I tried to melee me, but hey, there's the, almost said the easy Z, the easy 8. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he'll be uh, getting bullied here in a second. Yeah, he's not going to be lasting too long as we get him uh, stun locked. I believe, yeah, there goes uh, a finish off from, uh, from Vion. And he's been trying to hit his uh, shots a lot with the Desert Gym, which can be a very, very useful soup. Uh, at low cost because of its ability to heavy stagger and it's actually one of the better uh uh, uh supports in the game because of its uh heavy stagger combos and all that good stuff it can be a really mean suit to try and chase uh, especially for like a slower raid or slower general right it can be quite annoying but hey we got finished off because i completely forgot the high gog has a double dodge roll so uh <laughs> yeah i kind of just got fucked there so let's try to again play a little bit smarter like i said this is my first time trying to play this suit in a while i'm still trying to get used to uh uh how to approach and all that good stuff but i do have somewhat of a plan like i said earlier like it, whenever there's a support I try to chase support and try to get people to chase me and uh there's been a few moments where that's helped where, the, where our team did chase from behind and finish off anybody that's nearly dead or damage the generals so they're weaker in the front line right but yeah we're in a close match again uh our close situation at the last minute mark here 7500 to 7400 now uh yeah this is going to be up to pretty much whoever can get the last kill i believe and uh, yeah the good thing we're winning though because that means the enemy team will have to rush us as you saw they are retreating back at the last minute of the match so they have to come all the way back over to where we are they also blew up the middle rocket which may or may not have been a good idea because if they try to push there well they're just going to be open to fire and a lot of them are weak in health as you see some of them are smoking in the uh <laughs> you can see the black smoke on the white snow there but yeah i believe most of the enemy team will be pushing on this right side here i try to get cheeky and try to go straight for the support to get a quick kill so if i kill that support and i die i think we still will be winning in terms of points but, uh, yeah, as you'll see here in a second, High Gog was just ready for that. I go for the neutral. I miss the neutral. He is straight in there. And, uh, yeah, our, our team will be taking pot shots at the enemy team trying to come around the corner. But, hey, it turns out the enemy Ramzagok, he is just going to, uh, he is very out of position at the last last few moments of the match here. And, uh, yeah, he's going to die, and that will cement our place in this match. So, <laughs> Good on us for uh, for killing that guy really qu really quick. We recognize we recognize what was going on there, but uh, hey, good works all around. Mission completed, and we'll see how we do with the Ramsagok. And uh, not on the board, but hey, the uh, the flight type did really well. And I forgot to mention this, but he had a badge. So uh, yeah, good on him for doing excellent in that suit. But uh, hey, fourth place, two and four, which mm, you know, <laughs> not as much kills, but I was uh. I did tie for assist with our uh, with the flight type, and I did I almost got uh, top damage. You know, I was, I was just behind him by I believe a uh, thousand points, and uh, okay in pursuit assist. So yeah, definitely some stuff I could have done a lot better, like uh, not spawning in by myself and getting murked by uh, by two guys. But uh, yeah, the Ramzagok I think is a pretty nice soup. And yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. Subscribe if you want, I'd really appreciate it. And you know, type up in the uh, the comment section how you feel about the Ramzagok. Do you like it? Do you hate it? And, uh, I mean, if you know me, I like my amphibious suits, and this one's a pretty, pretty cool looking one. It's got all these uh, little fucking blades on it, and it's got that horn where it can, like, ram into enemy ships. Um, and, I guess, try and help make them sink, right? I guess that's the whole point of it, uh, compared to the regular Zagok. But, uh, yeah, as a raid, I think it's a pretty, pretty fun raid to play. A little bit unique in, in terms of its combo routes because it does encourage you to tackle a little bit more and the tackling does help in combos against uh 
uh, supports, you know, in place of like a heavy attack or maybe like a a one hit super super damaging melee weapon, right? Um, it helps in terms of like just trying to get that combo and finish off the support or uh, do more damage to a general and all that good stuff. So I think I'll probably try and play it a few more times. Again, like I'm not too hard pressed to play a raid at low cost. I mean, as I said for many many times, I'm not exactly the uh, the best raid player. So <laughs> and there's probably some moments in that match probably showed that, but. Uh, yeah, definitely some moments on my part where I kind of kind of forgot about some stuff like the high gog having a, uh, a double dodge roll. But uh, yeah, so if you guys can find this in the DP store or maybe if it's in the DP store now, I, wait, that makes no sense. If it's in the uh, the ticket store and uh, or if it's in the DP store, I recommend you guys getting this. It's, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty unique suit. Pretty fun. But I do wish they made it to where you could uh, walk or yeah, yeah, walk while using the... Uh, the uh, uh, the rapid fire beam guns, you know, I think that would definitely help out the suit in trying to chase down kills. Uh, I also forgot to mention this thing has aquatic mobile shooting, so that means you have a boosting instant stun if you're underwater, which definitely really helps out for this suit, honestly, uh, for some of those maps and uh, trying to approach and get kills right because I have I believe it has maneuver armor as well. So yeah, that'll be it, and I will see you guys later. Bye.